Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing the all-new Nissan Versa. Before we get into this video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Ken Garf Nissan here in Orem, Utah, for giving me some time with this Versa. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below, so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So powering the Versa is a naturally aspirated 1.6 liter four cylinder that goes through a CVT automatic. Fuel economy is 32 around town and then 40 on the highway with power outputs being 122 horsepower and then 114 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, I love this metallic gray and then look at the body lines. Those are really sharp. Coming down below, you guys can see here with the LED lights and look at the daytime running light. That's also cool. I like this coloration down below. And then you guys can see the Nissan logo and then SR there off to the side. And putting it all together, I think the new Versa looks really sharp. Coming around the side here, time wheel setup is 205, 50, 17 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see here with the coloration and the wheel design, I think it also just like adds to the flair of this car. And speaking of, well, not flares, look at the fenders. They don't have flares on them, but they also look pretty cool. Got a little splash guard. You can see how the mirror, that's pretty neat. And then look at the door handles, how those are body painted. And then here's your full side view with the Versa. Again, look at the lines that go across. It looks really good. So here's our key fob. You guys can see we've got the Nissan logo there at the top. We have a remote start function, our lock function, unlock. And you guys can see the opening for the trunk. And I do like this new style key fob. I think it looks good. Now actually popping into the trunk here of the Versa, you guys can see that for such a small car, it's actually really spacious. And then we do have the cargo netting here as well. And then when you're all done, just plop that down. You guys can see here with the body painted spoiler, we got another SR badge here. You can see Versa there on the other side. And then I do like these new style taillights. I think those look really sharp. And then we've got the parking sensors here at the very bottom. And finishing things up, let me know what you guys think about the style on the new Versa, but I think they've improved it quite a bit. Now taking a look at the door panel, you guys can see the padding here and then look at the orange stitching that goes across and then we got a little cup holder down below. Now these seats are pretty dang fancy, you guys can see with the orange trim right here and then look at the center of the seat as well. Now legroom here in the back is actually really solid and then we got a little USB there on top of that and then if you guys are wondering, headroom back here it's pretty good. I didn't notice this earlier, it's got the cool carbon fiber print trim as well. Now taking a look at the front door panel again, you got the padding with the stitching, you can see all of the window controls, notice that one's automatic, and then you can see the mirror adjustments, and then the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And then here's the front seat, again look at all of the colors and everything, definitely pops quite a bit, and then we have all of our manual adjustments here on the side, we've got our gas cap release right here, and then that is for the hood release, and then we've got a little storage cubby right there. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, really cool design. Notice how it's flat there at the bottom. We've got the contrasted orange stitching there. We have our cruise control. It's actually adaptive, which is neat. Controls for center stack. You got your volume controls as well. Turn signal light stock, and then we have our windshield wiper stock. Now in the center, you guys can see we've got the analog speedo here, and then notice digital for the RPMs, which I think is pretty fun. And then I can scroll through some different menus here on the side, and of course the glare is getting in the way, but it lets you basically to see different bits of info on the vehicle. I think that's pretty cool how you can go through all of that. And I've got a backup camera here, trajectory lines that do turn with the steering wheel with that backup camera as well. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, you've got a bunch of analog buttons on either side, including with the radio controls, which I really appreciate. <laughs> um, response time, I mean, look at this. It seems like it's pretty quick overall with everything. So that's a good infotainment system. Now to mention some touches, again, you've got like the carbon fiber print here, and it's also around this trim as well. And then look at the orange and the stitching, and, or, or sorry, the orange stitching on the dash and the padding. You know what? I'm gonna leave that in because that was stupid, but now you guys understand. Now you guys can see here, we've got our little charging area, including a wireless phone charging pad. And then we have our shifter for that CVT. You've got your engine stop start as well. Got some cup holder action here, with a little parking brake. And see more storage space with the USB. And then, yeah, 
pretty cool glove box. And then we do have a manual mirror dimmer here at the top. Now here's a window sticker for this 2023 Versa. Um, you guys can see almost everything went over with standard equipment. Base MSRP here, we've got a few options. Total MSRP, $21,455. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors do a blind spot monitoring and throughout the rest of the rear. And well, let us set off in the first set. Now I did make a mistake on the walk around that I quickly want to fix as I am uh, turning around here. And that's the fact that I forgot to mention single zone climate and then heated seats. I, well, at least I'm pretty sure. I think I skipped from like infotainment system down to wireless phone charging pad. This is number, I think this is like the fifth review today. Um, I've kind of uh, changed some of my scheduling recently. So I was able to fit more reviews in today than I have been able to for the last little bit. But it also means that uh, to be honest, my brain is just slightly fried if I'm being honest. Um, but anyways, Let's see how things are in this Versa. So with uh, here, we're going to get a bit of an acceleration. Transmission is actually really responsive. Again, for being a CVT. Now, I uh, don't exactly have a driving route figured out quite yet here with the Nissan and Orem. I always have to figure out a driving route with every new dealer. And so, yeah, we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure and I don't know where this adventure is going to take us. Oh, this is right back to the dealership, so this didn't work out. Okay, um, well, I guess we're gonna see the uh, roundabout handling and everything. So, um, yeah, that got us far. Okay, well, at least we know. Uh, if we just turn right away, that will get us absolutely nowhere. Okay, so officially getting up and moving yet again. Yeah, I really, I really like how this performs. I know like uh, the YouTube world absolutely despises CVTs, but okay, that's not a good one there either. <laughs> um, you know, modern CVTs are actually pretty solid in terms of how they perform. Again, just like how quick it is to transition, it's, it's, really, it's really quick. So I think that the modern ones are quite a bit better than uh, what they used to be. Uh, seat comfort's also really good in the Versa as well. Um, these seats, I, I think you could, yeah, you, you could be a bigger person and still fit in these pretty comfortably. So that's a big plus. And overall, I mean, for being a $21,000 car, brand new, this has a really nice interior. Like I'm super impressed. And again, it's not the most powerful car on the planet, but you know, torque on it is pretty solid. I probably should have turned there. Oops. I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, but uh, as I uh, get lost and uh, hopefully find my way back here, and just to fully sum things up here with the Versa, I think the new Versa looks cool on the outside. I think the interior is really nice for the price point. I think, I mean, freaking heated seats at $21,000. I review like $50,000, $60,000 vehicles that won't even give you heated seats. So like the value proposition here, I think is really solid. So let me know what you guys think about the new Versa, but I think that uh, Nissan is doing the world some, ooh, what's this? Maybe this will get us out. Uh, I think that Nissan is doing the world justice by still building affordable cars, but not just building like just an affordable car. Like this, in my opinion, is an affordable car that provides like a lot of value. So let me know what you guys think.